Uh, my name is Fidelia, I'm 25 years old and I'm from Indonesia. Hi, my name is Paulina, I'm 24 years old and I'm from Germany. Hi, I'm Tim, I'm 24 and I'm from Germany. My name is Ella, I'm from Germany, I'm 20 years old. I love wildlife and I saw so many videos on YouTube or on television and I want to see it in life. Coming here, settling in, it was a bit weird. I still don't quite realize how that I am here. But I was really, really nervous to travel to Africa because it sounds like a really excited place, but also like so much different to other places in the world. I booked to this Harness Wildlife Sanctuary because I really like wildlife and I like animals since I was a kid. First, I was very hyped and was, oh, I'm I'm happy to see the animals and the people and Hanas. They have orientation, so they explain everything. And then the, all the volunteers here are really nice. So I think because we have a lot in common, we like animals, we come here for like the same mission. So we get along pretty well and I feel a part of the family. Like a lot of fun was like feeding the lions and stuff. Like you, you always see it like in films where they just feed them, but I don't know, if you do it yourself, it's quite, quite different. Because you see this big beast in front of you fighting for its meat. It's, yeah, it's quite impressive. Feeding the lions and the leopards and cheetahs. It was so amazing because it was my first day and I already saw like any animal I wanted to see. They're mostly like injured animals or the animals that been kept as a pet so they couldn't be released to the wild. Cuddle with the meerkats. We can sit into the enclosure. So their names are Pointy, uh, Tick and Tuck and Harry. So, because he has curly hairs here. Yeah, you can take the belly. <laughs> there are animals all around, like a lot of cats, a lot of dogs, but also like, like right here, uh, Susie is a, is a sheep. You can just, you sit next to them, you work with them, you pet them, you feed them. The only thing I can recommend is bring old clothes. <laughs> and when you're driving on the cars, you're mostly sitting on the top. So you have to move around the bushes and when they get your t-shirt, it's ripped. <laughs> No makeup and yeah, some hoodies or jackets because the nights are very, very cold. And the air is really dry, so your lips get really, really dry. So you need to bring some lip balm or sunscreen or something like that. After we have dinner, the volunteers usually like gather around and then the staff made like a bonfire. I really have everything I need here. I mean, the food is actually pretty, pretty good. I didn't expect this. We have on Saturday this barbecue in the night. It's so good. I love it. <laughs> And the houses we are sleeping in, like the wooden cabins, they're actually pretty, pretty cool. This is my first solo experience, like traveling. That's why I booked through great projects. And then it's a good way to like ensure that it's safe and yeah. Oh, I can really recommend this. I didn't believe that this can be like this here. It was an amazing experience I had. The volunteers, it's like a little family. I think it's a happy place here to live. To describe this experience in one word, it will be magical. It is a dream. Yeah, you can't describe this here. I mean, like, I was booking for three weeks and now I'm staying six. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it's really unreal. Like, I'm sleep sleeping with baboons in a house alone. <laughs> I'm feeding lions, like, through this fence. <laughs> so it's really unreal. <laughs> so I would recommend booking on the Harness Wildlife Sanctuary. Uh, if you really love animals, like you can interact really close and it's really lovely. If I would describe uh, it in one word, it would be overwhelming, but in a good way. <laughs>